Okay, thank you everybody uh, for coming. Uh, I'm Alan J. Solarian, MD psychiatrist in this town for almost four decades. Suddenly, uh, a Thursday afternoon, I got ambushed being told that my privileges as a doctor to prescribe medication uh, was suspended. I'm concerned, of course, my first concern is my patients, beautiful people who are with me, and I thank everybody. And I want to reassure all my patients and the public that you will be fine. Whether I am around or not, I'm going to make sure that you will be fine. In fact, that's what I want to start with. That is, we're going to have a plan. There will be a little booklet for every patient where you will know you're not going to run out of your medication and be miserable. That's my commitment to you. That Thanks. there will be a doctor who will take care of you, whether I am around or not. This is not about me. This is about what people need. And I want to convey this. In fact, my pain is worse and my disappointment is 10 times worse because people like you are being victimized by a system that's irrational, unethical, plain awful, and stone age, and you should not be suffering. Let me just say why this is happening. It's happening because I'm speaking the truth. It's happening because there are lies going around that we have a big drug epidemic that's killing America. It's not true. The CDC statistics are misleading. There are maybe 8,000, maybe 15,000, but maximum 15 if the numbers are correct that die every year. We have 100,000 people with depression and pain that die every year. And that's the truth, 10 times higher. It's not a competition about who dies more. But let's remember this. To take care of a problem of 8,000, to punish people, 100,000 who die every year, is insane. And to do it with lies is not my constitution, is not my America. It's not true. Amen. And here I say, I have confidence in my lawyers and in the system that these lies cannot continue. The charges that were brought against me that irrationally took my license and put my family into misery are all lies, 11 patient complaints. Imagine DC licensing board did not have any of these patients consent. How is it possible in Washington for complaints to be filed without a patient knowing? How is it possible in the leading democracy for doctors to be treated like drug dealers. How is it possible for 2,000 doctors to go down quietly? No one knowing that 2,000 doctors went down. I'm a miracle. I'm the first one, as far as I know, who's surviving this. And only because I'm very lucky to have the family and friends and supporters to have. How is it possible? Otherwise, I will be destitute in this trash can. I am penniless. I am broke. Every complaint, including this one, is 50,000, and I wasn't born with gold. This is ridiculous. It's time for common sense to prevail, for people to speak up. I thank everybody around me for traveling so far from everywhere to come. We guys, you guys have to speak up, say this is wrong. 
doctor after doctor. Am I right that I'm your second doctor to go down? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Dr. Z. Dr. Z. Who have ever heard of Dr. Z? Nobody except Dr. Z's patient. Where is he? Where is Dr. Horowitz? Where is Dr. Knox? Where is Dr. McIver? Dr. McIver is in heaven. At the age of 64, he died in prison after returning from Sweden and Korea and Japan as scholar of a man being arrested. Their pain is my pain. I do not know the rational answers that will reassure you. What I will know is, thanks to a fantastic group of lawyers, Bernie Grimm, Chloe, and others, I'm standing up and I'm hopeful. I have hope that common sense will prevail. I cannot give you an exact date but at the risk of repeating myself, I want to say this to you, that all my patients will be taken care of. I am touched by my colleagues reaching out and reassuring me. And hopefully by the end of the day, I'm going to have a good list of doctors available and also my associate clinical director, Ronald LaFleur, will be available for any concerns. And of course, I will. Thank you. Dr. Soleri, is it the case that the group of doctors with whom you have been working have discovered that the CDC statistics are so terribly misleading and apparently in concert with the DEA are being promoted to maintain the false edifice of a war on drugs that actually is calculated to keep the street price of drugs high and inexpensive treatment low. You know, uh, Professor Fetzer, you're brilliant. I'm not. I only know what's happening to my patients. I have a suspicion that my addressing those issues with CDC triggered something. The truth, the numbers don't lie if you understand. We have vital statistics. Every year we know uh, how many people die. The litmus test for the average American to learn is how many people die of drowning, drowning. If we do not have a drowning and suffocation epidemic, then we don't have. That number is 10,000, okay? And I believe the 15,000 that New York Times and Wall Street referring to includes Tylenol and aspirin deaths and alcohol and 50 other things. It's contaminated, dirty data. Therefore, we do not have, but I don't want to sidetrack. Suppose we have, why should we punish my patients here, my friends, the people who trust me? Why? What did they do wrong? And that's my pain. Dr. Solarian, some of those of us who have been looking into this believe that the CIA has turned into the biggest drug running operation in the world. It began in Southeast Asia. Peter Dale Scott has published several books about it. It appears to me, examining your case, which I have written about in Veterans Today, that we have a war on drugs that is a complete charade that is intended to maintain high street prices when you and your fellow doctors have found cheap, inexpensive ways to deal with this problem, but which would reduce the price of drugs dramatically were you successful, where your pain brain festival being sabotaged is a perfect illustration that the government is intruding here when you and your fellow physicians are trying to bring 
inexpensive remedies to reduce the pain for millions of Americans. I agree. Let me uh, stop here. I'm not going to take uh, questions. Uh, but if there are clinical questions, please refer them to Ronald LaFleur, and I will be available. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you.